Hey, what's up everybody? Enan here from Udroid Mania. And today I've got six cases that we're gonna be looking at. They were sent out to me by EasyAC and they're for the Galaxy S8 Plus. First up, we've got a flexible case here. It's one piece made from a TPU. When it comes to a crystal clear case, what you need to worry about is the fact that over time, especially when it's made from a TPU or a polycarbonate, those cases tend to yellow over time. But at this price point, I'll just say this early on, that these are highly affordable. So you can actually pick up another one. We'll start along the bottom. And as you can see here, the cutouts are really pretty precise. You're not gonna have any issues in terms of port access. Along the left-hand side, you'll find the Bixby button and the volume rocker here. These buttons are actually quite tactile and responsive. They have a nice bit of feedback to them. So you're not gonna have any issues here. Everything works just as you'd expect it to. Up top, you've got the cutout here for your noise canceling microphone. That's pretty typical stuff. On the right hand side we've got the power button and i'm telling you with this case even though it's pretty thin it's got a really nice feel when it comes to these buttons this case has a nice grippy feeling in the hand so you're not gonna have to worry about it slipping and falling the only thing i really would say here is that this case does attract fingerprints it's not a fingerprint magnet but they'll be there from time to time if you're looking for an affordable case for your galaxy s8 plus that's clear then give this one a try the link is down below so go and check it out Next up, I've got another crystal clear case here. And this one's actually a step up from the previous one, being that the previous case that we saw was made from a uh, TPU. And it was pretty soft and flexible. This one's made from a TPU as well as a polycarbonate. When it comes to the installation, it's pretty simple. Snaps right in. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this case. And of course, we'll start from the bottom in good old U-Droid uh, fashion here. As you can see, the cutouts are precise, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that portion of the case. When it comes to the buttons on this, they're nice and responsive. They're pretty similar to what we've seen on the first case. They're tactile, you get some feedback here. So we'll move on up top, just a lone cutout for the noise canceling microphone. On the right hand side, we come to the power button. I like that it has a raised filling here. So as your finger slides down the side of the case, you're not gonna have any issues in terms of finding it. The corners are a little bit more beefed up as compared to the first case. So that's actually a pretty nice thing. When it comes to the back of the case, it's crystal clear, which means that you're gonna get a good look at whatever color variant of the S8 Plus that you have. Being that the back of it is made from polycarbonate, it's gonna pick up some scratches every now and then. I wouldn't say that's a deal breaker, but it's just something that I should make you guys aware of. It's got like these little uh, legs on the bottom. So if your phone is placed with the back face down on the table, you're not gonna get any rocking or anything like that. You're gonna get fingerprints on this case. I notice that a lot with clear cases. I don't think that's a deal breaker because it's common amongst clear cases. Lastly, I'll say that being that you can get this case at a fraction of the cost, it's definitely a go. The link is down below if you're interested, so go and check it out. Next up, we've got another flexible case here. It's a one piece case. This is a thin case. It's got a nice sleek profile, not gonna add any bulk to your phone. When it comes to installation, this is the easiest of all of them. The first thing I'm gonna point out when it comes to this particular case, it doesn't hold a lot of fingerprints, even though it's a black case. The finish here is pretty nice. Along the bottom, Easy Act continues with the precise cutouts. When it comes to the buttons on this case, they're raised like you can see here. They actually have a nice audible click to them. That's something that I prefer. A good feeling as well as I like to hear just a little bit of sound. Nothing that's too crazy, but just a little bit. Up top, pretty standard just to cut out for the noise canceling microphone. So we'll move on from that. On the right hand side of the case, you get a pretty good look at the power button here. And like I said earlier, it's raised just enough so that if you're rubbing your finger up and down the side of the case, you're not going to have any issues finding that. Pretty easy. Nice job. The cutouts are pretty tight around the hardware that's on the back of the phone. And I would say even though this is actually a nice deep well, sometimes when it's like that for the fingerprint scanner, it makes it a little bit difficult to actually get your finger in there and have it read. So that's something to be mindful of. Deal breaker, no, it worked every time when I tried, but I, it just took a little bit of muscle memory to get used to the fact that this one's a little bit deeper on the back of the case. Lastly, when it comes to the matte black case, I will say that it's probably gonna be scuff prone, meaning if you're one to throw your phone in your bag or shuffle it around on different surfaces, you're probably gonna pick up some scuff marks or scratches with this particular case. So if you're looking for something that's affordable, that's not gonna break the bank for your S8 Plus, this is definitely an option. The link is down below if you're interested, so go and check it out. Out of the bunch of cases that we're looking at today, this is actually a one piece case as well. This is an acrylic back here. An acrylic back case is one of the types of cases that you would want to go with if you're concerned about your cases yellowing or if you really hate that. This particular case um, will help to prevent that. 
just like all the other cases that we've seen today, there's not going to be any issues when it comes to accessing your ports. When it comes to the buttons and their click, excellent quality here. Like I said, I would get a couple of these myself. Up top, the only thing here is the cutout for the noise canceling mic. On the right hand side though, you've got the power button here. It's slightly raised, which, have, which we've seen that on a couple of the cases today. When you rub your finger here, you definitely feel it. So there's not gonna be any issues finding that button. On the back of the case, you'll also notice here that it's got those raised corners. So as you, if you sit your phone down, that's even more protection in terms of the back of the phone. When it comes to this particular case, it feels good in the hand. It's pretty lightweight. It doesn't add any bulk. This case has a lot of pluses going for it. So if you're interested, the link is down below. So go and check it out. Next up, we've got our first two piece case of the day. Now this particular case is also a kickstand and a credit card holder. You can put one card in here, an ID or something along those lines. Earlier in the week, I also reviewed this case for the LG G6. I said that these cases were thin cases. That's what they were being advertised as. When, when in fact, this case is probably the thickest that we're gonna see today. So I'm gonna add some bulk to your S8 Plus. So if you wanna maintain that thin, sleek profile, this may not be the case for you. The thing with this particular case is that even though it's bulky, with bulk comes protection, take a look at just how much thickness is here. I mean, that's a lot of protection for the back of your case. Starting from the bottom of the case, the cutouts are precise again here. The buttons, they're also nice and raised. They're tactile, they're responsive, they're clicky, just like the others. Up top, just the cutout for the noise canceling microphone. When it comes to the power button, I'll say that it does take a little bit more effort in terms of pressing. So it's probably a little bit more firm than the volume up and down buttons. Moving on to the back of the case, we've already looked at how much protection we have here around the camera and the fingerprint scanner. Pretty easy to get your finger in there. It doesn't have a guide here to help with that, but it's you're not gonna have any issues finding it. Along the bottom of the case, we've got the kickstand. All right, so in terms of wireless charging, you'll also notice that you get that with this. Even though it's pretty thick, as I mentioned earlier, you will be able to place your phone down on top of your wireless charger. You're definitely gonna feel the weight of it in your hand, and it's something that you'll have to consider if you're thinking about getting this case. If you're interested, the link is down below, so go and check it out. Thank you all for hanging in there. We finally made it to the last case review for EasyAct for today. This case is a two-piece case that's made from a TPU and a polycarbonate hard back. When it comes to the installation for this case, it's easy. You just snap it right on. Out of the cases that we've seen today, I'm going to say that this one is probably the second most protective. So what I like about this case is the fact that it's got the polycarbonate back, which means that you're going to get some impact resistance in terms of drops and falls. That's something that we should be looking for as it relates to our cases, especially if you're going for something that's protective. Starting from the bottom of the case, there's plenty of room here to get to those ports. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time there. You've got that extra beefed up bumper here on the corner. If your phone happens to fall and hit the ground, know that your corners are protected. When it comes to the buttons, I do like the way that they feel in terms of the actual press, but I'm just not sure how I feel about the shiny chrome color here. I think that if the buttons were black or made from a black TPU or something along those lines, I probably would have liked them a little better. Up top, we have the cutout for the noise canceling microphone, just as usual, so we'll move on. On the right hand side, again, we've got another button here for the power, that chrome, I'm not sure how I feel about that. On the back of the case, you've got plenty of room around that camera, flash, and fingerprint scanner. Overall, I really like the in-hand feeling with this case. So if there is one drawback that I'd have to mention for me personally, I'd say it's the buttons. But for some of us, that may not be a deal breaker at all. If you're interested in any of these cases that you've seen today, the links are down below, so go and check them out. Okay, so there you guys have it. What do you think of these cases that were sent out for review by EasyAct? We've got six highly affordable cases here. They come in all different sizes and styles. EasyAct was also nice enough to send over a coupon code. I'll link that down below. We're gonna get 50% off any of the cases that you guys decide to purchase. If you're interested in one of these cases, I would say get it now before they run out. If you're new to the channel, I've got other case reviews coming up, so make sure that if you're not subscribed, you go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below for more content like this. Welcome to the channel. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.